hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with another kidney movie and this is karihurashi no arietti or in english the secret world of arietti all right so uh it's almost in the end the Ghibli movies this and two others are left i'm going to do two more others uh, two other Ghibli movies so after that uh it'll be the end and we'll start with some like you know other movies uh other popular movies so yeah so i'm I like i have to say like i had an amazing time like reacting to the ghibli movies they like each and every like all the movies were so different but at the same time they were like so uh common had some common you know themes in it like for example each and move every movie had kind of a moral of the story and like it like it like talked about something like different in each movie like uh for example in um mononoke hime there's this whole thing with pollution the modernization of our you know world and uh a lot of others you know like different movies had a different message behind it and it was so good you know to like watch them and like see what it is trying to tell us and uh, obviously the animations are as good as ever and the you know the anime uh, the like art style the ghibli movie art style is also so good so i had an amazing time and like it's almost at the end so yeah like that's the point of my telling all of these things uh so yeah i'll talk about it like in length at when uh, i will do the you know the movie that will end my ghibli movie like reaction like after two weeks uh, the movie that will end my ghibli movie reaction on that day i'll talk more about it so yeah like uh, i won't waste any more time let's get started with this movie i'm not sure what this is about but we'll find out so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with um the secret world of arietti and i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right so let's uh here's a countdown Three, two, one, go. Excuse me. Uh, old house where my mother grew. Okay. Okay, so this is the modern like setting. You know, cars and everything. Alright. Whoa. Started with a song. Okay. Wow. Oh, damn, there's a lot of vegetation. The borrowers are yet to. Okay. What? <laughs> In the middle of the road. Another road, but the. Uh, passage wow <laughs> and there's barely even you know place to open the door hmm Okay. Hmm. Wow, it's like filled with vegetation, like plants and everything are growing. What is that, a cat? Oh, what? <laughs> what the hell? 
Oh my god! Wow, that crow was like no! Like What's What's the cat even like? Is there something in there? Oh, what the? What it? Huh? Oh, oh, I was thinking this was going to be a, you know, those slice of life movies, like, which does not have magic and stuff. But it looks like, uh, you know, has magical elements or something this movie has. Okay. Oh, yeah, the title kind of says it. Uh, the Secret World of Arietti. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can see. What is that? A, a pixie? A fairy? That doesn't look like a pixie or a fairy. Okay, so the crow saved her. Was trying to save her. Yeah, that's not a... Oh my god! <laughs> God damn. Oh! That's freaking scary. And <laughs> she's waving at the cat. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, that's. Okay, I was not expecting this start. Wow. Wow, she even has a house. What? <laughs> Whoa, this is a whole family living. <laughs> Wait, what? About that. Eaten <laughs> by <a> frog. <laughs> Oh, they're going to okay, use it as some kind of spikes or something. Borrowing? Oh, they were talking about uh, the title also had the borrow. Okay, what's... Okay, they're going... That's true. Um... Okay. <laughs> What's his name? Pod? Okay, so this is some kind of a ritual for them, like borrowing or something? Last borrowers. Oh, I think I can remember something like uh, these borrowing. It's kind of, I don't know. I, I'm getting a feeling I've heard a 
thing like this like borrow some uh, anyways let's just watch Oh, above. Oh, damn. Yeah. Okay, it has been like rusted. Hmm. <laughs> wow, she has her own. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. What? Okay, they're going to borrow stuff from who? From the humans? And they're saying borrowing, not taking. That means, are they going to like, repay it back someday or something? Okay. Hmm. Um, that's a cockroach. Woo. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Imagine that big of a cockroach. Oh, it's make my it makes my body shudder. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, this is pretty dangerous. Damn, like, just imagine the amount of problems you face if you are so, you know, little in a world of so many gigantic people. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Assassin's Creed. <laughs> okay. Okay, now he'll have to yeah, pull it up. Yeah, hold it tight. Whoa. Okay. Damn, they're fully prepared. <laughs> they're using a oh. What 
Well, uh, is this like the cupboard? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Spoons and forks. Okay, so... Yeah, so they are going to take stuff from the humans. I'm guessing. Whoa. Okay, this is, yeah, this is the cupboard. Wow. Sounds. You know, if it's so small, the sounds would feel such intimidating. Damn, you'll have to make a huge jump or something. Yeah. Human be Yeah, they are going to... Okay, so they're saying that they're borrowing. That means they must... Like, someday they will probably give it back to them. I'm guessing. Ooh, damn. Oh, damn, his, his dad is... <laughs> it's a veteran. Whoa, they're going to... <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. Good thinking. Ha! <laughs> damn. Okay. Wow. This is a fascinating, you know, like thing in, I was not expecting something like this. Wow, this is this is something else. Okay, the there's the sugar. You have to put it in your bags. Okay, for them, I think one cube is enough, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Huh, wow, so big. Okay, so, uh, oh yeah, tissue, they said that bring a tissue, okay. Uh, I think one tissue is even big for them, you know, tissue papers are quite sizable. So, what is that? That, uh, damn. There's those thing, what, is it, what are they called? Pins or something? Like those... Yeah. Like for them it's like a weapon, you know? Like those rapiers you have. <laughs> Be careful with that, it might like, you know... <laughs> like, like... Poke someone and... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, what are those mice? Yeah, rats. Yeah, definitely. Whoa! <laughs> nah, nah, don't, don't try it. Yeah, yeah. And that's like, uh, you know. 
point it to only towards the end like it's not a sword or a blade that you can slash stuff with it you can just poke stuff with it so it's quite you have to stab things with that Whoa. What is this place? Whose place is this? So fancy. Yeah. Oh, it's a dollhouse. Okay. Wow. Yeah, they can live in a dollhouse, you know. I think so. It's a dollhouse, isn't it? Hmm. Oh. Yeah, 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 that's true. Like, if you take one kiss, like sugar cube, they won't even notice. And it's like you, you cannot let them know that we are here. Okay, is that the, oh. <laughs> oh, the dolls are even larger than them. <clears throat> okay, there's the tissue. Will it even fit in that? Okay. Uh, but okay, tissue, it's a tissue paper. It would probably fit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's looking at her. Oh my god. Oh my god. In plain sight. Did he even notice or? I don't think he noticed. Yeah, better. Okay, don't, 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 don't. Hmm. Okay, now he probably... What? But he knows that she's here? Yeah, yeah, he knows. Oh, so he knows. I don't think so. Maybe her mom.
Yeah, I didn't get anything. And also that. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and not they got nothing. <laughs> or did they? No, they didn't get anything, did Yeah. Mission failed. <laughs> the mom's like, um like, aren't you forgetting something? Like wasn't I supposed to get something now? Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, they got that thing. Uh, that what is that the pin or something? Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. You just made a hole in her dress just to keep that thing. <laughs> Oh, just ima uh, like rainfall, I was thinking. Like, just imagine the water droplets. You know, for them, they'll be huge. It will be like, you know, like, <laughs> like for us humans, water droplets are nothing. For them, it will be pretty, pretty dangerous, I think. Oh, what is this? All those small little bugs. <laughs> what? What is this? She's going to play catch with that? Okay. Oh. Oh, it's the. Oh, it's yeah. He's giving the sugar cube. Uh, next time, could you please bring some tissues as well? <laughs> You know, like we also missed the tissues, so yeah, the water droplets like so big. Oh no, the cat. <laughs> the cat's like, oh well. Oh, where's the sugar cube? Oh, there it is. I thought.
Oh, this is that something written in that paper? What? Oh my gosh, her mom doesn't know that. Like, she's like, what? <laughs> Oh, you cannot turn. Oh, I'm just scared about it. Okay. Oh my God, the mom is pretty. Okay, so that's why, like, he was saying that don't tell your mom. Wait, do they have some kind of rule that they cannot use stuff that the humans give them or something? Or is it something like... Or maybe the mom is just freaking out, like... <laughs> something must have happened in the past, you know, for the mom to... Um, like, he's so scared of the humans. <laughs> okay, what happened to the sugar cube? Is, is it still there? Or maybe, yeah, the ants are taking it. Yeah, I thought. Damn. <laughs> you forgot something. Okay. Oh, so like just imagine how small he had to write, you know? Because the writing was kind of proportional to her. That means he must have written with, you know, extremely thin, like ink, and really small. What's he going to do? Like, she, like, she going to give it back to them or something? Oh. Oof. Mom is still sleeping. Dad is not here. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Her dad is making stuff. Okay. Yeah, like I was thinking, like who even makes this kind of small stuff? They had to, they must have had to do something themselves. And they're saying like, uh, like they're almost like the last, you know, little people left. So I'm sure like before there was this whole, like, you know, not town, but kind of like a civilization of them. And just like us humans do stuff, like particular stuff, like some people are like shopkeepers, some are like, Chefs, they must have had stuff like that as well. Whoa, <laughs> she has to like climb the... It's good for them, you know, because the house is so like filled with vegetation and uh, like leaves and stuff. Like, she can just climb them up. Oh, ladybug.
so for them the ladybug is quite large for us ladybugs are this small that means uh, ariety is like this like size uh, compared to humans i'm guessing her name is her name ariety like did they mention her name i'll have to pay attention next time yeah what what is her name i, I really didn't notice before Maybe they mentioned and I forgot. Okay, be careful, don't fall down. <laughs> Whoa. <clears throat> oh, the crow. Oh no, the crow might take her. Okay. Yeah, you better run. Like the crow might like scoop you up. Oh. Okay. Oh, is he like uh because something like previously we also saw like the lady saying that get in <laughs> get inside or you'll catch a cold I'm guessing he's sick or something Human beings, why are they saying? What about the mom? Oh. Yeah, what's her name? Yeah, it's Ariety. Okay, then okay, they never said this before. Okay, it's the first time. Oh no, the crow. Oh boy. Okay. Oh god. Oh my god. It got stuck. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh God damn. <laughs> I know I should not laugh at this, but it's so funny. Oh, oh my god.
<laughs> the way the crow was acting was so... <laughs> Okay. Wow. <laughs> and she ran away. Wow. Oh, so those, those are nails. Okay, I did not notice before. Like, they're like makeshift stairs for them, staircase. <clears throat> oh. Oh, it's a dad. Wow, like one droplet of tea is enough for them. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh my god, they're thinking that they're like rats or something. Squeaky clean service. <laughs> <laughs> oh the oh my god he knows she knows um okay <laughs> Operation, oh yeah, like he is like he's a board. Oh, the Oh, so that's why she, he also said that his dad is also not here. Oh, okay. So, like, her mom, as he said, that her mom also knew them. Oh, they also know about the little people. 
Oh, I thought they did not know. Okay. Oh my god, this lady is like, I ah, gotta capture them and sell them off. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we kind of saw this place, but on their like perspective. Now we're seeing it up to the human's perspective. Whoa, real furniture maker. <laughs> oh, it's a kitchen. Oh, wow. Ha. <laughs> Yeah, like her, like the dad, like the grandfather made it for them. But that's why everything is just like the original. Like the offense turned on, there's bathroom and all. Hmm. <laughs> this lady. And it's raining again. Oh boy. What the? Oh, those, hey, okay, those are pictures. Yeah, I was thinking, what is that? Yeah, the rain is a big factor for them. Like, yeah, she, he is like drenched completely. What the? What? Who is this? 
ಇಲ್ಲ ವಟ್ ವಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಓ Oh, I was thinking, oh, so he's hurt. I did not notice that. I think, I thought that he was carrying that thing. The spiller or whatever he called it. He... Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking like, so there's more of them. Pillard, she is, they're calling him a spiller. He's counting. Three of them. Yeah. Okay, don't don't do it in inside like what the hell? Okay. <laughs> what the? Uh What is that? <laughs> Her mom has the best reactions in this movie <laughs> every time. Oh boy. Oh. That's why <clears throat> Yeah, like this is one of the best So okay Oh damn
Hm. Oh mein Gott. <lacht> yeah, they're moving. And here we go. Yeah, I was thinking what happened. Oh my god, must be that. Oh my god, must be that the like the har haru or someone like that. Oh, what the? Oh, wait, what happened? Um, what's happening? What the? Um, what, the, what is happening? Um What's he doing like Oh he's trans Okay he is like exchanging it with the dollhouse <laughs> Wow. Okay, so he's exchanging everything with the dollhouse. Not everything, okay, only the kitchen? Yeah, only the kitchen. <laughs> wow. Okay, better move because, like you know, if Haru gets to know, he'll call the pest department. <laughs> Look at that face. Ah, great. <clears throat> what is that? <laughs> oh, it's a thing from the dollhouse. Yeah, they are moving. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, the cat. Yeah, do not. Yeah, I was thinking something like that. Oh, okay. Yes, people saw them like, like, I don't know that and um, okay. Okay. yeah like, like how long will they keep running away like Yeah, I was thinking something must have happened to him. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, he, she's going to call the pest control. Faces she makes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's going to. Oh, boy.
Oh great. Now what? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. Oh my God. Um, run, yeah, okay. Oh my god, she got her. Um, what the? Huh. Okay. Wow, she kidnapped her. Great. I'm sure like she must... Like she's the one that did it, didn't she? Like before. Like the thing that the dad said. Ah, boy. Um, at least, like, make some hole in it, like, she needs to breathe. Yeah. Wait, make some hole in it? What the hell? She suffocate. Yeah, thank God she had that. Yeah, wow. Wait, does she have more of them? Oh no, okay. I thought maybe she has a collection of them. <laughs> like these people. Uh, I think she can probably get out of this, like that's a, like a plastic kind of thing. Like if she has some, you know, sharp object, she can just tear it up. Yeah. Where's the dad? Like, oh, her dad went to, um, okay. Oh god. Wait, what? She's
um, you need to fire this lady, in my opinion. Like, ah. Oh. Oh, great, like... Ugh. Yeah. There's only one human here left, who is Haru. But you cannot get out of your room, so what will you do now? Yeah, now he'll find out that he's locked in. Damn. Oh boy, I think she's probably going to, yeah, go out of the... Oh uh, no. His heart is not okay. It's... Oh! Okay, is that, is it open? Oh no, it's not open. Or maybe it's rusted. Oh yeah, she can get in and probably... Yeah, she can make a hole in that thing, whatever. Or she can squeeze through. Now what? To climb the curtains. Use that. Um... Oh, okay. You can use this as well. Woo! Ha! Okay. And okay. Okay, there you go. And Okay, go catch her. Catch her. Or maybe ignore her. Okay. Any any one of it. Yeah. Oh boy, she's there. She's coming. Okay. Yeah. But how will they, you know, find out that where their mom is? I think he can just question Haru, like, you know, like, uh, yeah, like he is. Shit. 
like he'll have to like search each and everything i don't even know where it is yeah damn Oh boy, how do we see her again? <laughs> you messed up. You messed up. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yeah, she can go inside. Okay. What's happening? Okay. Okay, there you go. Come on. Yeah, she has that thing. She can just... Yeah. Okay, well, and the pest control is here. <sighs> and don't freak out. Okay, is this the grandma? Yeah, oh, thank God she's here. Like, like, oh my God. Oh boy. Okay. Hm, you won't find it now. Ah, I doubt that's you, not them. 
<laughs> she, she might be swiping things and like blaming it on them. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you locked it. Do you don't you remember? Oh, she opened it after that. Yeah. And there you go. Oh god. I don't know why is she even doing this? Like for money or something? Like what? <laughs> the tea in it. Oh. Yeah, like how, like, did take like a little bit, like, uh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the f Oh my god. Ugh. Stop, just stop. Oh. Yeah, the amount of stress that she had to go through. What what's that? Oh my god. Oh, is this the... This a rest house.
Mm. Oh, ah, oh, great. What is that? Oh, it's the uh, that cat. What's her Nia? Huh. Well, cat is acquainted with her, so I'm guessing it will be fine. Yeah, it's fine. Hmm. <laughs> she's just leading him. <laughs> wow, the cat's so smart. Oh. <sighs> Okay, there. Okay. Um... Oh, they're like, what happened? Okay, there she is. Come on, don't off. Oh. <laughs> oh boy <laughs> oh sugar
Okay, wow. I'm sure they have something more left, like there's still time left, isn't there? Or is it the end? Let's see. Oh, the end. Wait, that's the end? Yeah, that's the end. Okay. Oh boy. Well, that was it. And now, okay, that the, the movie was good. Like I was not expecting uh, something like this. But the end was kind of like um what can I say? Like uh like I I did not like the ending. So like much like I get it what they're trying to say like like the way the movie went, it's like like they're what can I say? Their worlds are different, you know. So there was never, like, not never, but at least not now. There are any kind of way to like interact and live together. Like, you know, the way they were living before, like uh, the humans were living and they were living underneath. Yeah, and as soon as like they understood, uh, like the humans got to know that they there are people living uh, underneath. Um, it kind of got messed up. Like the whole situation got messed up. And they had to move and uh, the reason behind it is from the past like uh, in the past also stuff like this happened and a few of them went uh, missing which I think is because of that uh, character Haru I'm sure it's because of her or some uh, someone like her who must have you know like took them and sold them somewhere I'm not sure 
but yeah anyways so yeah uh so it's like and that uh, like that was the thing that started the whole process of them uh like being unable to coexist together again like they could coexist together uh unless and until like both of them not uh, like uh, not both of them the humans did not know about them like up until then they can coexist but after that like no like there are different types of people like um yeah like i can kind of get it like they tried to you know convey a message like that in the end but like i feel sad for the guy like he like he did nothing wrong you know like he just wanted uh, to interact with these like uh, little people and he uh, you know learned about them from the uh, from his mom and he is like he barely gets to meet his mom and uh, his dad is not there and he's lonely so that's why he came here for a few days to live here so that he can interact with them and look how it ended now he kind of got as he said the guy got my uh, courage thanks to you and uh, like i'll go along with the the cooperation like that's one thing that happened that's good for him but other than that like what like like it kind of like went in a like a direction that i at least do not appreciate in a way because like you know like i always appreciate a happy ending and even if the ending is sad uh, i can like appreciate that as well but this was kind of in the middle like it's kind of a really um like you know you know what they call it bittersweet ending kind of and that's one thing i do not like you know like <laughs> like bittersweet ending like annoy me you know why because if it's happy it's happy it's sad it's sad like a bittersweet ending really does not go well with me i i'm like like what's the point of that like like it's like a neutral ending so it's kind of like that like uh like nothing bad happened and nothing good even happened the ending was like that and uh like other than the ending i really loved the, the you know um what can i say the whole premise of the show like it was so unique i like i was not expecting when i started the movie uh, i was not expecting something like this like i was so surprised by the whole thing and uh, it was so good the concept was so amazing and i really enjoyed that but uh like the ending kind of is not like up to my taste i'm sure like you know different people have different types of uh tastes and at least according to my tastes uh, the ending did not sit well like uh, i think this is the only movie which has a ending like this of the ghibli movies i'm talking about because all of the movies that i've seen were either sad or you know um happy like the sad ones were like grape of the fireflies uh kaze tachinu like kaze tachinu you can also call it bittersweet in a way but still it was sad like you know like the whole thing was sad and uh, like you know like why i appreciate uh, that ending more than this because kaze tachinu uh, like the guy you know the guy uh, he like what can i say like it was a sad ending but um like what can i say like it was happy at the same time in a way because the guy did whatever he could do like he accomplished everything that he wanted he accomplished uh, his like a dream the dream like making the airplane uh, his, his wife also like uh, he was happy with his wife he spent the last days with his wife and uh, well, like her last days with uh, his wife and uh, like all of these things and in the end it was sad that she had to you know pass away and his airplane also like became like that after the war so like it was a like happy thing but because of that happy thing it, it, like in the end it became sad something like that and uh, like uh, grave of the fireflies was sad it was like extremely sad like that's something else and oh porco rosso it's also it also has a uh, you know kind of uh, it's open ended it's not bittersweet like porco rosso was open ended so we can imagine a lot of things but like this is not open ended this is something completely different this is like you know um 
like what can i say like it's bittersweet it's something like we saw like this amazing you know like this co uh, existing thing that was happening they were like uh, had a good what can i say um uh, i cannot okay yeah they had like a good um uh the the relationship that was growing yeah the relationship that was growing between the uh, like the guy and the like little people uh not not the little people but her like it was it was like you know kind of growing they were developing their characters but in the end like it like this they they like you know they diverged in their own ways it was something like that so like i really do not you know like 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 endings like this which kind of has to end in a really like the like the main goal of the story the main goal of the story was something like like the main like thing of the story was how they showed us that how they were like like you know increasing their relationship they were like kind of interacting with each other they were like completely two different types of uh, like people like one was this normal human beings and one was this little people like they through the relationship they were like uh, building up the relationship throughout the uh, movie but in the end it kind of mattered and at the same time it like did not matter in a way the reason why i'm saying it kind of mattered is because as he said that i will like forever uh, like remember her in my heart stuff like that and she was also sad at that like that's why it kind of mattered but it also did not kind of matter because like after this what like they go on their own way and i doubt if like uh, the like the guy show uh, i doubt he will if like after this surgery if he will you know meet people like her like those little people again i'm not even sure and i'm not even sure if she will again like come obviously like she can come into contact with other humans but uh, like what then like they are like like it it is something like that so i like that's a really you know a sad thing like the thing that the movie tried to build up it really did not the ending did, did not like show us that the ending was kind of completely the opposite them splitting up that was the ending like the whole movie uh, like showed us how they were like uh, growing uh, to, like closer together they were like their relationship is building up at the end like uh, it like it just had to go they had to go in their own direction so yeah but the movie was good like i have to say that the concept was extremely unique uh it was uh like interesting uh the soundtrack was amazing i uh, like i have to say the soundtrack was good in this movie i really liked it and yeah so yeah that's it like the thing i feel bad about is about the guy like uh like i feel more bad about show because you know like ariety has had everything like she has her family she has her kind of she has a new friend and uh you know but like the only thing that you know this movie sh like the movie that the movie that was building uh, the thing that the movie was building up was her and ariety's relationship that was the thing that movie was building up show the guy who had no one like uh, her she he had his grandma uh, his grandma i'm sure like his grandma cared about him but like <clears throat> like in a sense he was kind of alone you know like always alone in that uh, like uh, room to like a uh, room and then there's no mom she he he's like sick he cannot go out like it's tragic like his his like character is tragic in a way so like by interacting with ariety and uh, like uh, oh well, he had a good friend that is the cat the cat was really good uh, like that was i think that's the only companion companionship he had in this house and um, after like coming into contact with ariety he was kind of you know like was opening up talked with her and everything and like they was trying to you know build up that relationship in throughout the whole movie but in the end i feel bad for him like really bad like he has like he obviously he'll have to go through the operation and uh, i'm sure like he'll be fine uh, and then after he becomes fine i think that it will take a little bit of time but he would probably stand up on his own make new friends and everything and he'll try to improve but like 
at least for now i feel bad for him like you know like again going back to that house uh, living alone no one there uh, just waiting for your time uh, like the time for the operation what did he say i think two like oh after two days okay so okay it's not much of a long wait so like he'll just have to go back and like live more for two more days and then he'll go i'm guessing go back to the city for the operation and if he you know like um uh, recovers uh, he will um, uh, you know become fit and healthy and then he can start a new and start a new life in a way so yeah like um but yeah like i feel bad mostly for the guy ah oh, great so yeah and i <laughs> like i've always said this before like i am really not um you know kind of like i appreciate happy endings like, that's what i appreciate you know so like sad endings really like however good the ending is sad endings really like i i would like if you give me some prefer like uh, preference of uh you know a bad story but a good ending and if there's another option that an amazing story and a sad ending i would choose the bad story but the good ending always because you know that's that's what i want a good ending like in a way like uh, the, the, like subaru like you know rizo subaru's motto of the ending should always be perfect the ending should be good unless and until there's a good ending he will continue like like killing himself and reviving that thing that yeah that's the thing that i want like always the good ending like uh, there are different people like i've also heard a lot of people kind of uh, say like uh, like has an, a different opinion like some people like on, like is more um gives more attention to the story if the story is amazing they do not really you know uh, it doesn't matter to them whether the ending is good or bad or like happy or sad whatever like uh there are people like that and there are also people uh, I've, i like i've heard about uh, like i've seen a lot of people like that but i'm not like that you know um like if the story is bad i can manage but if the <laughs> like the ending is sad oh boy it, it i really do not uh, like you know <laughs> I do not like that but yeah ghibli movie has been a really you can i what can i say like has been a like mixed thing like there are like uh like like endings which are sad there are endings which are happy like all mixed like there's no like it's not like yeah every ending is happy or every, every ending is sad it's not like that <laughs> excuse me <coughs> it's not like that but uh yeah that's why like <laughs> like every day when i start reacting to a ghibli movie i i think that will this be happy or will this be sad <laughs> just like that but uh, yeah like this is not sad like in a way you cannot call this sad but this is really um uh as i said like bitter sweet kind of a neutral ending so yeah a little bit happy in a way but still yeah and okay about the movie uh, as i was saying like i the, i love the concept so good like it was a, such an amazing concept and like and i've like uh, and i was thinking like i think i heard like you know uh, the the what did it say karigurashi yeah like these little things like i think there was uh, something that i heard before about these magical creatures who borrow stuff from your house i think so when they said that they were going to borrow stuff i was thinking uh, is this something like that you know i cannot like pinpoint what it actually was and i cannot even remember uh, if my memory is correct or not but i think i've heard of some kind of magical things like creatures like this who like borrow stuff from your house what are they like uh, i cannot remember but it's like this like the, you know this thing seems so familiar to me this concept of like little like creatures borrowing stuff from your house anyways i cannot really remember but i feel like i've like it's so familiar this thing so yeah and um and the lady haru like oh my god she was so annoying she was so annoying like oh god 
but yeah uh you know what what i think like if this lady did not like mess up the whole situation i think they would have probably stayed so in a way the like fault lies with her so yeah like she messed everything up in a way and i don't know like i think maybe she was also the like one behind the whole like disappearance before you know uh, because like as the, like his dad her dad was saying that uh, like a family lived here but one of them uh, disappeared suddenly they had to move so ugh, i don't know and like i don't know like their mom like i'm i'm sure like uh, the guy's mom like also wanted like the little like you know the little people to come out and she wanted to interact with them uh but that's why like the dollhouse was kept so you know like properly and neatly and with such care uh she kept it and um, so like his grandmother was also all uh, up for it she was saying that yeah like i also want to meet these little people but that but the but haru oh my god she was like ah money money i want money <laughs> <laughs> that type of character uh i don't know if she, she was like what she was even going to do with them i like i'm just assuming that he wanted to sell them off <laughs> maybe something else i don't know but yeah and okay is there anything else No, oh, that was it. Oh, and another thing, the hilarious portion of this movie was that crow scene. Oh my god. Like, you know, like, the whole thing was not so funny. You know what was funny? The way the crow was behaving. Like, he was like, I don't know what, like, like... And then that... <laughs> and then, like, more funny stuff happened when, like, Haru came in with her slippers and tried to smack it, but she herself fell down. And oh my god, wow, that was something like I've never laughed so hard in quite a while. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> like the way the crow was behaving, I, I'm, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> okay, that was something. And is there anything else? No, that was it. So yeah like i like enjoyed the movie but the ending was really not according to my taste at, at least like this movie like the like all the other movies like uh, like i've never like said anything bad about any ghibli movies before like you know like every movie will had its own charm and everything and the endings were also good uh, like all the movie has uh, had some kind of uh ending like uh like a conclusion but uh, like this movie's ending uh at least for me um yeah like it has no proper conclusion it's like kind of like yeah they go on their own way and that's it like something like that and like i get it like you know like this is life you know like uh, anime is something that we see and in most of the animes the endings are like always happy or kind of sad but real life is not like that like real life is not just happy and sad no it's not like that it's kind of bittersweet in a way there are good portions there are bad portions there are sad portions there are happy portions that's real life we know that and in a similar way like this anime was kind of showed us that yeah like everything does not go according to plan in our life everything is not so happy in our life there are sad portions as well we ourselves have to like pick up the good portions and uh, like live our life according to it and like keep that memory intact in our like uh, you know heart stuff like that but you know what like <laughs> like if i had to just watch a like real life kind of situation in an anime why would i even watch an anime you know like that's just my opinion like why would i even watch an anime like i'm watching an anime because i want something that I want to, you know, like that it's according to my taste, like I that I want to enjoy. That's that's why, like according to me, good ending or happy ending is always the way to end an anime. Like I really do not <laughs> like like bad endings, and even like uh, worse than that, I do not like bittersweet endings. Bittersweet endings, nope, that's a no for me. I like those things really do, is not for me. Like I get frustrated in them 
and sad endings also are kind of bad but it's uh, like even it's better than bittersweet ending like um <laughs> i don't know i don't know why like bittersweet endings are ju just not for me i really do not like bittersweet endings uh so yeah and <clears throat> yeah like this is just my opinion you know people have different tastes and like at least for me like the movie had an amazing start had an amazing middle portion but the ending was uh like not for me at least but yeah anyways but uh like except the ending everything was so amazing like i was probably going to say like this is also one of my favorite movies uh but the ending uh, like kind of made me change my mind like uh, you know like the beginning of the movie was so amazing i was like wow what is this like, this is so amazing such an amazing concept and the way it was going i was like wow this is like something else like uh I, like it's a, such a good you know uh, like the plot was going so well and then in the end it like i, I was also like you know kind of uh, quiet in, towards the end because i really like i was like just waiting i was waiting for some good thing to happen but it did not happen in the end and um that's why i was like uh like before the ending i was thinking like oh this this is this going to probably you know like uh you know uh, surpass my expectations and i would probably also like say that yeah this is also one of the best movies of the ghibli movies and i would probably even rank it but when i saw the ending i was like no like no like uh, i cannot give this a high like you know a high like praise because the ending is not for me so yeah but anyways guys like uh, like i'm sure like a lot of guys or, like a lot of you guys like liked this movie the ending all as well and um like i also know that if you like something and if you like you know uh, listen to someone who does not like it it kind of frustrates you as well like i i've also been there like uh like a lot of you know youtubers and uh, like people who watch anime when they kind of say you know like yeah i did not enjoy this anime as much as i would it kind of frustrates me if that anime is something that i really enjoyed like it frustrates me i know that like but you know like it's just you know an opinion so like <laughs> yeah like it's just something that i felt and i'm sure a lot of you guys must have uh, enjoyed this movie and the ending was also like okay with with you but uh, like at least for me it's uh, like this ending is not like you know um, like, what can i say like this is not an ending that i prefer but the story like this uh, you know the concept was so amazing so yeah like i'm kind of neutral on this movie like i cannot say like it's good or bad this concept was amazing the animation the like art style the uh on track each and everything was so amazing but the ending kind of you know did not uh, do it for me I was unable to provide the thing that i wanted so yeah but anyways that was good and yeah so thank you guys for watching this was um the secret world of arietti or uh kadigurashi no arietti so yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. And comment down below anything you want to say or anything in general, I'll be sure to check them out. So yeah, like, uh, like, <laughs> like you know, I, like, I'm kind of nervous because like this is the first time I have ever, you know, uh, like said that, yeah, this, <clears throat> like, you know, this anime is, <coughs> excuse me, uh, like not something that I enjoyed, like, especially the ending uh, not especially but just the ending uh, this is the first time that i am kind of you know disagreeing with something so <laughs> i don't know how people will react to but anyways as i said before this is just my opinion uh so yeah so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys again in the next video oh uh, okay um i forgot it will slip my mind which one i will i do in the next week um okay so <coughs> excuse me uh two of them are left i think uh like which has decent ratings uh one of it is um, what is this from up the pop uh from up on poppy hill kokilokot zarakara sorry i cannot pronounce that but i think it's something like that but yeah from up on the poppy hill i'll do this the next week and there's another one left which is omoide poroporo which i'll do uh, in the upcoming week so yeah. <laughs>
so yeah uh, next week uh, i'll do this one uh, from up on the on poppy hill so thank you guys for watching so yeah um, i'll see you guys in the next week with another ghibli movie so until then goodbye and have a nice day